So in this procedure, we're looking to st help stabilize either the lateral collateral ligament or the medial collateral ligament of the knee. This taping procedure is basically the exact same for um, either side of the knee, either medial or lateral. We'll demonstrate a lateral just for the ease of viewing. Uh, it can definitely help out um, if it is in a sport where having a substantially sized brace on it may not work. Uh, we utilize this with wrestling quite a bit, or if the person just doesn't feel comfortable in a brace of that size. So with that, we will get into the taping procedure. When possible with this one, I like to utilize just a little piece of tape almost as a target to make sure that we're hitting exactly where we're trying to go uh, with the crisscross of the support, so right over the LCL or the MCL. Uh, again, with the under wrap, you're going to want to go down fairly low uh, to make sure that when the calf contracts, it doesn't slide up over it. Um, you don't necessarily have to get all the way under the gastroc, depending on um, the anatomy of the person, but you could. Uh, same thing with the quad and the thigh. You're definitely going to want to get up fairly high to make sure that when uh, they do start going, it doesn't just immediately fall down upon muscle activation and also depending on the sport to make sure that that doesn't get pulled down um, and basically become useless. Uh, we'll go again with the half strips, not wanting to go around in full circles uh, when we worry about circulation and not wanting to cut that off. So we'll do those on the anterior and the posterior side of the thigh. Uh, typically with this one, we will start with just white tape for these almost no matter what. Um, it's just a good anchor to the pre-wrap. It works out really well uh, when it comes to doing that. Then also we'll put those anchors um, down on the lower portion of the leg, which we'll do here in just a second. And again, to make sure that we're anchoring down, going with the half moons to make sure that we're not cutting off any circulation or making it uncomfortable when the athlete starts becoming active again. From there, we'll actually start our support strips. You can work um, superior to inferior or inferior to superior, uh, again, depending on you. And again, our goal is to cross over um, that actual injured ligament or one that we're trying to protect. Uh, oftentimes, we can get off base with that um, unintentionally, and then the tape job doesn't necessarily give us what we're trying to accomplish in terms of support. So in this case, we're utilizing the white tape uh, for this, the general athletic tape. But you could use the Stretch M Tape Premium for this, and that could be either the 2 inch or the 3 inch, depending on the size of the person you're working with. Oftentimes, the 3 inch can be really beneficial, depending on if you have a large athlete or someone that is super active for some more hold. So, as we're laying these down, not all of them will necessarily be perfectly on a crisscross over that. Um, target spot because we do want to fan it out a little bit to give support to the whole lateral portion of the knee but in general we want to make sure that is our main focal point then we'll go back in do closer strips to hold those strips back down um, if you are using an M stretch premium you may need to do these in um, between each thing just because you can run into the potential of those um, falling off and then this would be one where we will cover this either with a sleeve um, compression sleeve wise um, or just some sort of uh, stocking that we could utilize or like with a tape wrap or anything along those lines to help keep everything down keep it nice and tight to the knee and make it so it's going to be the most beneficial it possibly can be